So much new makeup, my friends. I am so excited to be putting some to the test today. We're gonna do a little first impressions moment and see what there is to see in the world of new makeup. So I hope you guys are excited because I am and let's see all of the newness in the makeup world and put it to the test on our face today. So thanks to everyone who commented saying, yes, we still wanna see makeup videos. We still wanna see first impressions. I'm here today to deliver the thing. So let's actually start with skincare. I didn't put anything on my face. I am totally bare because I have been dying to try the new Rode skincare. This is Hailey Bieber's new lineup and there's a few products there's three products technically five but there's three products so i wanted to start with them today and see how they wear under makeup see how they look under makeup skincare obviously in order to give a proper review you have to use it for a very long time but i think that these products in particular at least for me would be used kind of like makeup primers to as miss bieber says give us the glazed donut look so let's let's take them for a ride right now i'm going to start with the road peptide glazing fluid this is the dewy hydration layer i'm going to take a it says one to two pumps, so I took two pumps. Let's put that on our face and see how it feels. I have swatched this on my hand <laughs> a lot. I've been meaning to try it for so long and it really does leave like quite a wet looking, also cooling feeling on the skin. So I feel like this will actually be a really nice base under makeup. And every time I see video or photos of Hailey Bieber's skin, I'm like, obviously you are genetically blessed with this beautiful face, but <laughs> the products do look so good on her, so. That's the peptide glazing fluid. Definitely a little sheen. We've got a little sheen going on, but let's not stop there. So this is the Barrier Restore Cream Rich Face Concentrate. Both this and the fluid, <laughs> the serum before, retail for $29 USD. It looks like it's been sold out on the website pretty much since launch. And they also have a pack where you can buy all five products in a bundled price. I am not a scientist or a dermatologist. So I'm not gonna speak too intensely on the ingredients, but from what I've gathered, it's just supposed to be very, very hydrating, very soothing and very juicy giving ingredients for the skin. So that's the cream on top. Cream actually feels much more cooling than the peptide fluid did. Looks like we've got a nice hydrated base going on. And then there's the peptide lip treatment and there's three flavors with this. There's an unscented plain flavor and then they have watermelon slice and salted caramel. I really personally love the scent of the salted caramel one. So that's the one I'm gonna use today. I really appreciate the packaging. It's really nice and minimalist and sleek. It's cute. I'm very curious to see what else they're gonna come out with in the Rhodes skincare lineup. In general, I'm really happy with my skincare lineup as it is. I'm not really looking to swap it out much, but I think it's always fun to put it to the test and see how it wears onto the makeup and also for sensitive skin, just to see how it feels. So that is the peptide lip treatment in salted caramel. It truly smells positively delicious. <sighs> like a caramel cake. It's always a little bit difficult to put new makeup to the test and skincare at the time. It's kind of just to see how it applies. If Hailey Bieber can wear this under makeup, then so can we. So that's what we're gonna do today. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts on celebrity like makeup and skincare lineups in general? I know we have felt many feelings about it, but I feel like at least Hailey Bieber has been, whether it's planned or not, <laughs> she's someone who's been very outspoken about skincare and her love for skincare and working with many experts in the field. So uh, I was excited to try it. Would love to hear your thoughts. Now let's move on to the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This product has been absolutely going bananas on TikTok. I have seen so many people trying it and loving it. Apparently it's the perfect dupe for the beloved Charlotte Tilbury product that has just never <laughs> worked for me. The Hollywood Flawless Filter, so I'm very curious to see how this goes. This is the Glow Booster. I've got shades one and two here. I am not sure. I feel like I should just use shade one to be safe. Now from what I've gathered, people love to just like slather this all over their face, but I think I'm just gonna mainly focus it on the high points of my face, like where I would typically highlight. So kind of just where I want the glow to be added, which is on my cheekbones, on my forehead, just, you know, using it as a base underneath. Now you can mix it with your foundation, you can put it underneath, you can put it over top, kind of however you want to glow. This is just how I've seen most people, or a lot of people use the Charlotte Tilbury version. So that's how I'm gonna try it today. So let's, yeah, let's give it a little blend with a little foundation brush and just see how she blows. <laughs> the trouble I've had with the Hollywood Flawless Filter in the past is that it just pills on my face and kind of no matter what I've put with it or underneath it or on top of it, it's just never worked for me, but so many people use it and love it. I just don't know why it hasn't worked for me. Maybe it's just because I have, I really do have so much skin texture and it's something I try to 
deal with in my skincare, but I think if you just don't have trouble with skin texture and you have beautiful, smooth, soft skin, then products like these <laughs> can be so nice, but sometimes too much glow. Layering up these glowing products can just be a little bit of an issue for me, but that looks good so far. Honestly, especially for summer skin, it's something that you could pretty much wear alone. Maybe if you had a tinted sunscreen and you just put this on top for a really, really glowy look, that would be beautiful. Like if I was headed out to the beach, this could be where I would stop. But we love to see amazing drugstore dupes. Have you guys got your hands on this? Have you tried it? What do you think? And for those of you who love the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, how does it compare? Let us know. We are glowing. Okay, I've got a new skin tint to try. This is one new in from Summer Fridays. This is the Sheer Skin Tint with Light Coverage. I am absolutely obsessed with the packaging. Listen, I've got a lot of base products that I love. I'm not really looking for new ones. I'm not missing any in my routine. There's so many that I enjoy and that work for me. However, really love this packaging. I love the plain packaging. And in general, Summer Fridays is just a brand that so many people seem to love and rave over. So I figured it was worth me giving it a test today. So I've got this one in a shade three. I picked this up and I also picked up a new Fenty Beauty product that I kind of wanted to try at the same time because I was very curious when I saw this on the Sephora website. This is the Easy Drop Lit All Over Glow Enhancer in the shade Tavi Topaz. I got this one in the shade two. I know that you have to put things on your face to give it a true test, but I mixed the two of these on the back of my hand and it was <laughs> magical. So I'm gonna do the same thing today. The one thing I will say with the Summer Fridays is that the shade is very yellow, like very, very, very yellow. So I don't know how that's gonna look on my face, but we're gonna mix in a little bit of this Fenty. You know what, let me actually just swatch this alone so you can see the juiciness of the Fenty Glow Enhancer. How beautiful is that? It really, it feels like a serum. There's no chunky glitter bits, which is why I feel like it'll be such a gorgeous product to mix in with your foundation and makeup products in general, which we love to do. And you know, we're, we're swiftly swimming into fall. And then following that, winter skin is upon us and we gotta add glow wherever we can. So that's what we're gonna try to do here. I'm just gonna slap this on with my finger first to see how I feel. Do you see how yellow that is? Is it showing up in the camera? Very, very yellow, but very juicy and delicious. And when it comes to skin tints, I'm not looking for coverage. I'm more so just looking for a little bit of, a, a layer of warmth, just a little something to slightly even out the skin tone, truly give a tint. And then those are on my like better skin days. And if I wanna add any additional coverage, I can go in with concealer to add the coverage where I want it. And that's generally what I look for in my everyday makeup. I want a lighter base to go all over my skin just to help with the, the redness and the veins and things. And then I can go for a more full coverage product if I'm uh, wanting to get glam. So that was blending out really nicely with my hand. I'm just gonna go over with my brush just to see how it feels. All right, what do we think so far? Super light, super glowing base. I've got a little bit of separation here on my mouth, a little bit of dryness. That could be from any of these products and I'll have to test them out individually in order to give you my final thoughts and review. But yeah, we've got a little, got a little bit of product build up here and that's surprising considering how light these layers have been. But let's go ahead and add another layer. I'm just gonna take my Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. This is the concealer that I have been loving lately. And speaking of adding extra coverage, we're just gonna go in and add a little bit of extra love where I need it most, aka everywhere. And I'm gonna let that sit and do its thing for a second and hop on over to brows because I just wanna fill in my brows while the concealer settles. So this is a new product from Benefit. This is the Gimme Brow Plus Volumizing Pencil. And apparently this pencil has both powder and fibers to add volume to the brows. And I was very curious about this because I have been back on the pencil train when it comes to filling in some of my brows. I love the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and was curious to see how this one works. So here I have the shade 4.5, which is the same shade that I use in the Precisely My Brow Pencil. And I'm just gonna fill it in. It's got like a really thick pencil, obviously more thick than the very thin pencil that I'm used to using. So I'm just gonna fill in my brows and see how it feels. It's really cool because you can actually see the little fibers on the pencil. Very fascinating, what a concept. And if you're looking for a more thick brow, if you're looking to add that volume, but you like the pencil format instead of like using a pencil and using Gimme Brow, I think it's a cool concept to have the two in one. From the photos in the video that I've seen of this product, it definitely has like a much more soft look. I typically like the feathered brow, like I like drawing on the individual hairs. I love the microfilling brow pen. So I think that's where my preference lies look-wise, but I still think this is a cool concept and I just wanted to try it. 
I'm not loving this for the inside of my brows. I feel like I'm getting like all these little balls. I don't know if the camera is showing this or you can see it, but it's like depositing little balls of product. Kind of very bizarre. It was really nice filling in the tail and that's fine, but I think I just, yeah, I prefer the individual strokes. But can you see these balls? These little balls of product. I don't know, I don't know how to, I don't know how I feel about that. We got the volume and softness in the body of the brow, but perhaps I will stick to my thinner pencil for just filling in the inside. And then naturally I'm gonna go over that with my e.l.f. brow lift. It added volume for sure. I prefer a more precise hair stroke brow look, so I don't think the product is for me. However, very cool concept, and I appreciate the volume that it potentially provides. So that's the brows. Let's switch back to concealer. I'm just gonna take a little beauty blender and I'm gonna blend out the concealer now that it has had time to settle. A moment of appreciation for this concealer, truly. Very happily rediscovered this and it really truly just melts into the skin. And even as it's sitting there, it just starts blending in itself. You just don't even have, really have to do anything. It is such a gorgeous product. I'm just putting two extra wipes of concealer on my cheek. I've been doing that lately because when I apply bronzer, I tend to wipe everything away because I just love to stab my face with my brushes. But uh, speaking of bronzer, we've got a new bronzer in the house, my friends. This is the Merit Bronze Bomb. How beautiful is this packaging? Truly so stunning. I absolutely love this gold bullet. I've got the shade Clay and apparently it's the easiest bronzer to use yet. All the reviews that I have been creeping online have said that it's super creamy, super easy to blend out. They've got a really nice shade range. And again, the packaging is just to die for. So let's give it a go. I'm gonna apply this. Ooh, ooh, really soft, really soft, really nice and thin, not too pigmented, which is nice for easy everyday application. I'm just gonna put that all over and put that down my nose as well. And I'm gonna take my Smith 157 brush as always and blend that out. I mean, that that's beautiful. That is gorgeous. <laughs> I agree with the people that was so easy to blend in. It's so creamy and looks so, so, so natural. So excited to keep playing with this. Definitely gonna add it into my everyday pile because this is the perfect natural shade of bronzer for my skin tone. And that was really, <laughs> was really easy to blend out. Really impressed. Another new beautiful product from Merit. Very excited about that one. Allow me to just blend in that uh, concealer real quick. Next up, we've got a few new products from Nude Sticks. Now they have these new tinted blur sculpt sticks. There's three shades. I'm gonna use the shade Neutral Medium and it's Contour Cream to Powder. Now, because we've got a really nice light bronze, I thought it would be nice to intensify the contour a little bit with this and also give it a go. Oh yeah, that's like definitely way more thick, way more intense than obviously the warm bronzer that we just used. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of that to the cheeks to blend out. We all know I love an intense, very sculpted cheek. It's just uh, it's just what I like to put on my face. So I just wanna add a little bit more intensity. And that's the beauty of using contour versus bronzer. You can kind of put bronzer all over your face just to add warmth and glow and a sun-kissed look. But if you want specific spots contoured, i.e. the cheekbones, we can add a little bit more intensity there. I, I saw that TikTok hack of like Kate Moss contour trick and it was adding some contour right there. Oh my God, it might be wrong. I'm just totally going on a whim there. But people have been like adding contour here-ish to like hollow out the cheek. Oh my God, I'm probably, I'm probably doing that wrong. But let me just have this moment. Let's try. Is that right? I feel like, did that work? Does that make me look more sculpted? Does that give me Kate Moth's cheekbones? Maybe not. Well, we tried. Okay, anyway. Beautiful new contour sticks from Nude Sticks. Speaking of newness from Nude Sticks, they came out with a new blush formula. And obviously having my picante beautiful blush with Nude Sticks, I'm very curious about this new formula. And it's the Nudies Matte Luxe. Let me see if I can show you the difference on my hand because I got to give this a little play when I was doing my live masterclass with Nude Sticks in Toronto recently. And my picante shade is a Nudies Matte. And so this is Nudies Matte Luxe. And it's just like a little bit more 
velvety like even that doesn't it doesn't look very matte when you put it side by side does it but it's just this gorgeous like natural velvety look and i was positively smitten by the shade of rosy posy and i have been dying to put it on my face so we're gonna do that today rosy posy let's put this on the top of the cheekbones this is also such a gorgeous like kind of mauve toned purpley vibe i think this is going to be such a beautiful blush shade <laughs> for fall i just love the look of it not really matching my summery vibes today is it but it's okay we'll make it we'll make it work for us look at look at how easily that blended out this is my refer 04 brush my favorite blush brush currently to blend out cream products it's so nice and easy that was beautiful wow I love the shade. It's more of that mauvey tone, but it still has that like feeling, that effect of like a fresh pink blush. Like it just has a really nice cool tone and gives you that kind of awake feeling, but that was really light and easy to blend out. Beautiful, very excited about these new shades from Nude Sticks. Let's divert and move to eyes for a second. I don't have any new eyeshadow palettes to show you at this time. I feel like I just have a lot of palettes in my collection that I'm just not even using right now and I need to <laughs> need to pull some out for fall for sure. But until then, I just wanted to show you one little update of my Inglot shadows because I had this little duo. I had bought two of the Rainbow Trios and this particular shade when it came in was a little bit more like purpley than I was anticipating and I just never use it. And I was waiting for these to get back in stock. I finally picked up the single shadow for my beloved little trio here that I use. And especially for my everyday makeup bag, this is so convenient. So perfect for travel, everything I need. So I just wanted to show you a little update that I put it in the single pan. And let's actually just dive into this really quick. I'm gonna take the lightest shade. I'm gonna put that all over my lid just for a little base. And then I'm just gonna use the same brush in the medium shade and I'm gonna pop that into my crease, but then I'm also gonna take a little bit just right into the outside full corner, third of my lid and just blend that into the lash line. Just for a little depth, a little something something out there. And then I'm also gonna take a tiny little bit of that shadow on a tiny brush and just put that onto the inner corner of my eye, which has just been the little the little siren eye, the little fox eye thing that I've been loving to do recently. And I'm doing this because we've got a new liner in the house. This is the new Vive Power Ink Liner. Look at the packaging, absolutely stunning. Loving all the gold we're seeing right now, big fan. <laughs> and I wanted to put this to the test. I don't usually use black liner. I love to use my brown liners, whether it be liquid or powder or gel, whatever format. Um, black can be a little bit intense for me, but we're gonna put it to the test anyway. And I have seen so many rave reviews on this, so. Let's take a deep breath and try to do a little wing. I don't like to put my liner all the way along my eye. I just like to start it kind of like at the middle of my eye and then we'll go out from there. Ooh, it's applying so easily, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, I'm looking straight forward and I'm gonna try to do a little flick, just a little. Oh my God, it's so, it's so pigmented. It's so pigmented. Allow me to take a little Q-tip just along the bottom. Truly what a glide. That was like, it's like frighteningly easy to apply that. It's so pigmented. Incredible, truly. Would love to see this in a brown. Would love to see it in a brown, but amazing first impression. That was like 10 seconds to apply. Brilliant. Now just to give it a little bit of a softer feel for that everyday look, I'm just gonna go ahead and use that same shadow to kind of just blend on top of it, at least right here, to just kind of soften the look of the black a little bit. And then I'm gonna take the deepest shade in my little trio here and just run that all along the line. Give it all a final blend. Apply some mascara, I'm gonna use the Lancome Lashy Doll. Well guys, might have to switch it up to black liner for fall. What are we thinking? I'm I'm digging how this looks. I realized I forgot my most important step, the Benefit Professional Setting Spray. Gotta put this on. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of my Givenchy powder to set in the center of my face. Now let's move on to lips real quick. I'm still going through my Victoria Beckham O2 Lip Definer, the nubbin that will never die. <laughs> and I'm just gonna do a little lining of my lips with this. Lips are still very nicely plump from our little salted caramel treat. All right, and with the lips being lined, I've got a new lip product that I wanted to try. 
Stylus on Sephora, bought it immediately, needed to try it and thought this would be the perfect shade for going into fall. This is the new Say Lip Blur and I got this in the shade Nouveau. I simply love the sleek packaging of this, looks gorgeous. And I'm not gonna lie, I put this on my lips last night and I took a couple photos I was trying to show <laughs> what it did, but it was really highlighting like the lines and kind of flaking off a little bit on my lips. It was like quite matte. So I'm hoping that now that we've prepped with our lovely little lip treatment that it'll be better, but we're gonna put this to the test and I hope it works because the color is so nice. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly take a little brush and just melt that in. How glorious is that lip color for fall? Truly, truly so obsessed. If you have dry lips though, be warned, you definitely need some kind of nice thick lip butter underneath. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna go in with a final little wash of bronzer. I typically love to finish my face and my makeup looks with a powder bronzer. And I have totally been meaning to try this new one from L'Oreal. It's their Infallible Freshwear Bronzer with a soft matte finish. This one is in the shade 200 Fair. And I just wanted to take a final little dusting of this all over the face. And with that, my friends, the makeup is complete. Listen, if this face ain't perfect everyday makeup for fall, I don't know what is. <laughs> this is my little full face of first impressions on some new makeup and skincare that has been rolling out. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on how some of these products performed, also how they look on the face, and if there are any products that you'd love to see me put to the test in future videos, please let me know in the comments down below. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and had some fun playing with some new makeup with me. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and I will see you all very soon for a new video. Bye!